Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to episode 168 of the Iron series. And please, enjoy today's episode. Oh, granite gloves. Okay, speaking about uh, uniques. And believe it or not, it actually has some pretty decent strength bonus. Yeah, 7. So, it's like, you know, pretty competitive for low-level players, I guess. Oh, it's even got some accuracy bonus too. Might nice be of like a mithril gloves kind of, except you don't need a do bust, so can't really be up here and use it. I am finally done with the gargoyle boss task. Holy crap, that took such a long time. It's like 20 kills an hour, so yeah, it took me a bit over 10 hours just to complete this task. But of course, it's pretty enjoyable since it's new, so I probably won't get bored of this for quite a while. And I'm still looking for the tourmaline. Uh, core, so definitely a more goggle boss to do in search of the best insult defense boot upgrade right here. Holy fuck! No way, dude. The Australian worlds are so good right now. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be the case forever, but let me just tell you, I'm I don't live in Australia. I live in the United States, and I remember at least when uh, these worlds came out. If I played on those worlds, it's like 300 ping. It was like almost unplayable, but some guy spot a D imp and I totally forgot I was in the Australian world and it actually it's good like I'm actually not lacking this is insane so I just wrapped up an hour of the arty course got myself actually 23 marks of grace that's amazing and I'm getting about 58k experience an hour and this is at 86 agility so I'm able to last two levels using the boost and of course with the preserve it's amazing so yeah, I've been able to just basically do these labs almost without fail. I've only failed twice. Yeah, once you get to 86 though, oh my god, it's so much better. Alright, what did we get on the last kill? Nothing notable, yeah. Cosmic runes. Well, I just gained like 1500 cosmic runes. Just wrapped up on 2200 Zora KC milestone. Pretty nice, so... Of course, with raids and now with the gargoyle boss, I'm using skills more than ever before. So I'm starting to run low again. So that means back to Zoro I go. Nope. Ah, oh, rip. Rip, rip, rip. Oh shit, elite clue scroll though. Here's the master clue that will give me some uh, ornament kit, I hope. Here we go. Oh, oh man, okay. This one, elite clue from raids earlier. Let's go. Dang, dude, these ornament kits are so hard to get, guys, seriously. Hey, been mining a lot at Amethyst, and yes, the Geos keep coming. And of course, I have all the other clues on here already, so... Oh, yes! Serpentine Fissage, yes! That's what I'm talking about, baby. I didn't mean Serpentine Fissage, I meant like 20,000 scales. Oh, that is so good. There we go. I'm stocked up on Zora skills for quite a while. Oh my god, a magic fang? <laughs> wow, dude. Oh my goodness. There we go. Alright, then. I should be all set for two months. Or at least a month guaranteed, dude. That's, that's another 20,000 skills. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna blow them all away at raids. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for more skills, though. Ooh. God damn, so fancy dude getting all these. So I'm just cooking up some food because I'm running a bit low for corp. But anyways, I am here at the uh, bank in the deeper section of the Dazar area that came out with Inferno release. You need to offer a fire cape to get here. But this uh, sober fan is next to the bank, which is basically another rogues den cooking method. Except this one's better because the sober vent acts as a range. So that means if you're burning stuff at Rogue's Den, you're going to be burning less here. Oh, damn. New task. To kill 45 Fossil Island Wyverns. Damn. I, I don't want to skip this one. I'm looking for, you know, Gargoyle boss, but I honestly do Fossil Island Wyverns. I haven't done this before, so. Alright. I'm going to try out the hardest uh, of the Fossil Wyverns first. The Ancient Wyverns, heard they're a complete bitch to kill. I uh, managed to do 9 kills, you know, on my first attempt with melee. And uh, yeah, these guys are really tanky. 
a lot of HP. They they hit pretty consistently, and uh, they also freeze you. I'm gonna try again and uh, maybe change this up a little bit. I'm gonna bring my Dragon Warhammer and uh, see. And I have done, I believe, let's see, start off at 36. I have done 12 kills, and uh, with slightly more food and bringing my Dragon Warhammer, it helped a little bit because every time my Warhammer landed, it's super bulky defense got reduced quite a lot. So, so tanky. Oh yeah, got another pretty noticeable drop here. A magic seed. Alright, just wrapped up on my first ever ancient wyvern task. So there are uh, another three types of wyverns besides the ancient ones, but those three are a lot easier than the ancient ones. So I just want to try out the, the most difficult ones first. And uh, would I do the ancient wyverns again on task? Probably not, just because, yeah, they take forever to kill. And yeah, I don't really need anything from them in particular, but it was definitely a fun experience. So next time I get another one of these tasks, I'm gonna try out the regular fossil island wyverns. Finally, man. After that uh, eventful ancient wyvern task, I got myself 214 gargoyles, which I shall savor in the grotesque guardians tomorrow. My last row of the day, no drop. Oh, but I got an elite clue though. That's nice. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh my god, that scared me, dude. Yo, I thought that was uh, the ancient wizards. Fresh out of raids, this elite casket is going to be the good one. Or not. Oh, well, it's, you know, tons of Alks. There we go. Took a while, you know, in preparation for this level, but here it is. 94 mining, guys. Um, I think most of the XP from 93, 94 came from the Emesis. But yeah, it took so long, but hey, I'm AFK anyway, so. But yeah, 827k, about to 95. So guys, we got the 99 herbal on the last episode and I said I would spend some time to figure out which 99 I want to go for next. And uh, I am about to tell you that I'm going to go for 99 crafting. Yes, actually a very useful 99, not just to get as an accomplishment, but the cape itself is phenomenal. Let's go to the crafting guild. So basically the crafting guild has a bank chest right there and uh, with the crafting cape teleport you will land approximately around this area so it's like the quickest uh, way to the bank and also it's unlimited teleport so slightly better than the Cerex talisman and just in itself is nice because I always have to go to the bank every day multiple times so so in my inventory is all the supplies that I need to get 99 crafting so Let's talk about the gems. I got a lot of sapphires, emeralds, and rubies. If I cut all of those, I will get about 2 million experience from that. And also, if I turn them on to jewelry, which I will be doing, I will also get an extra 2 million or so experience. So that is 4 million total XP right there. And I also have some uh, leftover D hides and like crystal keys. I can, you know, cut some dragon stones, which will give me a few more extra experience as well. So for the last one mil or so crafting experience, I'm going to be making silver tiaras. You're gonna think I'm crazy, but actually this is pretty efficient uh, from my point of view. So here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna need to make about 20,000 silver bars. And that's actually pretty easy because in about four hours of blast furnace, I can produce 20,000 silver bars. So that's no big deal. And from that, I will be getting about 240k smithing experience, which is pretty nice. You know, it will get me to 90 plus smithing. And yeah, with about 20,000 silver bars, I can just AFK and make some silver tiaras, you know, featuring the make all option. And that's that 99 crafting done. So a lot easier than the 99 herbal actually, because I pretty much have everything I need for 99 all in my inventory. So that's amazing, but it will take some time. So definitely expect some crafting levels every episode until the 99. That's gonna be really nice, cannot wait. No, oh, I dropped. Oh my God. Oh, we're back at this stupid event once again where we get the drop, but we don't know what it is. Oh, closing in on 1300 rates. Oh, all right, man, here goes nothing. Let's just freaking open this, here we go. Oh, yes! 
I mean, it's not a twisted bow, but yo, let's go! Twisted buckler. Yes! Oh my god. Let's freaking go. Guess what? I'm gonna be using this equipment. Oh, I can't equip it. Ah, oh, whatever. Dude! What is that? How many are we at? 13 out of 15! Oh, yes! Oh my god. Oh yeah, now my heart's pumping. Oh, that's so awesome, man. Finally! Hey, remember that uh, old Elder Maul, the first one that I got, it was at 864 raids? Yeah, it took me 423 raids ever since the last unique to get my my 13th unique. Fucking hell, dude. Anyways, I, I do have a use for this. I'm gonna be using it uh, mainly at Corp just cause uh, that magic defense is freaking amazing. Let me take that off real quick. Yeah, look at that, 26 magic defense. The only thing better than this for magic defense for a shield would be the uh, spectral shield, but I don't have that, but hey, it's just the best range shield in the entire game, so if I do need to use my crossbow, the shield's gonna be perfect. So this buckler is basically gonna be replacing my Odium Ward. I, I love this Odium Ward, I've been using it for such a long time now, ever since, you know, the Ceridomen grind that I did, way, way back at this point, but yeah, now we have the Twisted Buckler, the best range shield in the game. We're just gonna retire these. Okay, so I want to show you what the max, max range accuracy in this entire game is. Yeah, this is max range accuracy in the entire game, 232. Yeah, so I have the Odium Ward, which was 12 range bonus, but then the Buckler, this thing has 18 range bonus, dude. It's so much better than the next second best. So with today's episode concluding, I have now 13 out of 15 unique items from raids. There's only two items left and they're both best in slot items. So I'm still looking for that ancestral row bottoms and of course the super elusive twisted bow. But definitely I have now more motivation to continue the grind with this new additional unique item. So for the last two unique items, they both took 420-ish raids apart from each other. And hopefully the next one that I get, either the bottoms or the bow, will not take as long. Because, yeah, it's just so, so time-consuming. But let's just hope for the best. Anyways, got that new crafting goal in the works. So next episode should be quite interesting. And if you are new to the channel and you would like to stay up to date with episodes from this series, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching as usual. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's massive gains. It's a pretty monumental episode in my book. So otherwise, I'll see you guys later with another video, hopefully in a few days. Bye bye.